A short time ago and not so far away, five nurses realized that enough was enough. They each had unique problems that they felt were starting to affect their patient care and lower their quality as nurses. Where is that assignment? on my email. Another assignment due tomorrow. I haven't finished last week's assignments. I have no room. I can't do anything. I feel so unorganized. How am I going to get anything done? Hey, Olga, I have to do a blood draw and I've never really done one on my own before. Can you help me for a second? I have good patients. I have... Are you sure? It'll just, like, do. real quick, just, like, you know what? Yeah. I, I, I need, need someone there, there, there and make sure I don't write it. You have a license, right? Yeah. They taught you how to do this. Yeah. So then, what do you want me to do? I, just, I have my own patients. You have your patients. Why don't I have to take on more of a load? Just because you don't know what you're stuck. Okay. okay. I guess I'll figure it out then. Ow. I'm sorry. Uh, you can just relax your arm. Have you done this before? Um, yeah, I have. It's uh, just, just been a little bit. So, it, um, don't worry. I got this, I guess. What do you mean? I have a family to support. How about that? Ugh. Hello, Mr. Reyes. My name is Keisha. I'm going to be your nurse today. I need to assess you. Is that okay with you right now? Can you come back later? Now is not a good time. I could, but I need to do it no, right now. No, did you hear me? Not right now. Okay. Keisha, Dr. Matz is at the front desk and patient in room 205 needs you. I'll be back. Oh my gosh, look at this card. That is a nice car. It's a Hummer. Of course it's a nice car. It's just which one to get. You're going to get one of those? Yes. You know those aren't very good for the environment. It's a nice car, but all the gas it uses and the emissions it puts off, I mean, there are other options you could get. So you're talking about global warming? That's it. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, we've been seeing the effects of it over the past few decades. Pretty really? obvious. The environment is something that's like, you're not going to be seen in your lifetime. You're not going to feel anything. Well, why do you think the polar bears are all dying? Because the ice caps are melting. Those polar bears. No, they're adorable. If you want a nice car, a lot of the luxury brands are offering hybrids now. And that makes it better? To yeah. like that. Well, you still get a nice big car, and you aren't going to harm the environment at the same time. I'll believe it when I see it. Check it out. Oh, you know there's recycling for that. You don't have to put it in the regular trash. It's just a couple feet away. Thank you, have some fun. Oh, I'm so tired. Sheila, you're needed in room one. Sheila, room one. Welcome to Nurses Anonymous. You all came here to join a community of your peers. Here, we'll all work together to explore different methods to improve our patient care and facilitate healing. Let's take a moment for each of you to introduce yourself and explain why you've come here today. Hi, my name is Platt and I'm the new nurse. I'm here to learn ways to reduce my anxiety and improve my concentration. Hi, my name is Keisha and I'm the nurse for two years. I have come to the community to help channel my stress and my reputation. Hi, my name is Olga and I'm a nurse. I've come here to get more in tune with the environment and with myself. Hi, my name is Brandon and I'm a nursing student. So why I'm here is to uh, improve on my organizational skills and also to reduce stress. Hi, my name is Sheila and I'm a nurse. That's why I'm here, so I can find coping mechanism. So I'm not so tired at work and I can sleep better. 
Oh, so Sheila, um, actually the school that I graduated from has this labyrinth that if you like it, it can help with your stress. I mean, you can give it a thought and try it. And you work across the street, right? Yes. Okay, so you want to try that? Maybe? Oh, thank you. Maybe I can try that after I work. I okay, work so I hope it works and let me know afterwards, okay? Thanks. Thanks for letting me know. So, Kalecisha, it looks like you both have very similar issues with coping with stress and working under pressure. Have either of you thought of maybe meditation or yoga? I haven't thought of it before, yeah. but that could be something I could try. Right. Taking that time to just focus on your breath and just be in your own mind, not really thinking about your issues and being completely at peace, will give you some time to sort through any issues you may have and to be able to recall that state of mind later when you're under pressure. That sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, you're right so, you're saying that you're having trouble with these things. Here's some advice. Okay. You have a small working space. Maybe give yourself a space where you can work. A really good space. And you're coming up on assignments that are due before you're ready. Don't cram. Study as you go. Use some organization to know of, of the assignments before they come up. Okay. That way you're ready for it. Okay. But don't forget, school isn't the only thing. You have to take care of yourself. What do you use, you know, to, to relax? Do you play music? Yeah, actually, I play guitar. That's perfect. Yeah. Do you ever go out into nature? Do you, do you count? Oh, I love camping. I wow. used to do it a lot when I was younger, but it's been a while since I have. Well, that's a great way that you can reflect on your work, your hard work, and come back to yourself. You should try that. Sounds good. Thanks a lot, Olga. Welcome back everybody, it's been a week since we've met last, and I'd like us each to talk about what's happened in our lives since we've last seen each other. Brandon, would you like to start us off? Sure. Um, after listening to all the advice, I was able to um, create a much larger working space for myself. Um, I also was able to set a schedule for my assignment due date, so I never felt behind. Allowed me to create a planner for me, and I was able to get a lot of time done. Okay, Sheila, what about you? Hi, Brendan, do you have a second to talk? Sure, Chef, good morning. Okay, I just wanted to let you know that's like great improvement in your clinicals, and most of your patients have said they've been really appreciative of your time management and the care you've been giving to them. Wow, I'm great that you said that because I've been really focusing on my organizational skills. I've also taken some time to myself for reflection, and I feel it's helped me a lot with both my patients and myself. Okay, so basically you've been working on yourself. Yes, I've been working on myself in order for my patients to have the proper care that they need. Okay, well, keep up the good work and keep on making a difference in these patients' lives. Thanks good. a lot. Mm -hmm. How about you, Olga? Well, I found a sense of at home this year. pointing out the things in my life that were wrong, and now I realize that now that I can change my way, even know this is part of the environment, and work on it, it brings a home to yourself, and now I see that I myself can be healing inside, and with that healing, I'm able to help other people. I'm very happy you've been able to find that. How about you, Cora? 
Well, I started meditating a few weeks after it, and it has worked wonders. I feel much more composed and peaceful when I'm at work, and I can even take a couple seconds before I go into the patient's room just to kind of clear my mind, collect my thoughts, and it's definitely helped. I feel much more relaxed in the patient's room, and I can feel that they're responding to it really well. And you, Keisha? Um, I think this is a huge for yoga, and I think I'm just really changing it. I'm happier, and I'm feeling much happier because I'm training better, I can feel much better and stuff. And as the meditation I'm talking about, yoga too can make the meditation, even if I'm not actually doing it, I can take some time and think about the benefits it provides, and then I have to calm it down and start working. Hi, Mr. Rez, it's me again. Is this a good time? Yeah, sure. Have a seat. Thank you. I noticed that you were upset earlier and I didn't give you time to explain. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It's just there's my job, I might get fired, I have a family support in the Philippines, and then now there's this. Everything's just getting piled up. Okay. Um, do you happen to have insurance? No, that's also one of my problems. Okay, I see. Well, it happens that we have a great program that helps people in your situation, especially the ones that aren't insured. Uh, would you like me to get a case manager and a social worker on your case? Oh, yes, please. That'd be great. Okay, okay. Um, I noticed you were praying earlier. Oh, uh, yeah, um, praying in my culture just helps us heal, just helps us get through rough times. Okay, well, actually, yoga helps with me, mm. especially because my job is really stressful and it helps me to cope with the stress and get to terms with things. Oh, awesome. Um, yeah, is there anything else you'd like us to talk about? Well, no, everything's good right now. Well, if you have time, you can come back and have a chat. Okay, okay, no problem.